today I'm going to be doing another mixed media card using these mini media plates from John Nextdoor, um, available through Crafts 2 in the UK. I made a card using the star and the square one, and today I'm going to be using the hexagon shaped media plate. These, for those of you that don't know, are like a miniature jelly plate, a gel press plate. They can be used in a similar way to stamps and in the previous card I used a stamp platform and today I'm just going to be using an acrylic block. I've chosen three colours of uh, Americana paint, a desert turquoise, sour apple and lavender. I think they look nice together. And I have a sheet of acrylic here for putting my plate, my paint on to and brayering. You can use a scrap of paper, a non-stick craft mat. And of course you will need a little brayer as well. Um, I'm going to be adding a little detail to the plate using um, a foam stamp. This is a little foam stamp out of a set that I've got. You could use um, rubber stamps, but I quite, they're quite a chunky design and that's what I want today. And it fits quite nicely into this hexagon. So I thought that would, that would be a nice thing to use. So to begin with, I'm going to put a little bit of the paint onto my acrylic sheet and get a coating of it on my brayer. And then I'm going to apply it to the little media plate. And press like so. I'm going for a sort of patchwork effect. No need to clean that little bit of uh, glue off the plate. I am just taking the excess paint off my brayer onto a scrap of paper though. So I'm going into the green. I'm just pressing as you would with a stamp. I'm going to take the purple So that's what you get, obviously, just using this as it is on its own. What happens, though, if we put some paint on and then take our little foam stamp and press that in carefully? That'll take some of the paint off. So that when we stamp it, we see the design in there. And that's such a quick and easy thing to do. I'm just going to stamp that excess bit of paint off my stamp onto my scrap of paper. And I'm going to go back into my blue paint. my foam stamp on there and press down I'm going to repeat that with the green It's a really fun and effective thing to do. So I'm going to continue and add a few more of these hexagons to my card. Some of them plain, some of them patterned. So 
then what we can do is go in with our stamp into some of the white space and add coloured circles. just need to add some partial hexagons just there over the top just to finish that off. That's our background completed first stage. I'm just going to allow that paint to dry, clean up my mess on my plate and my, on my sheet, and then we'll be back and put the finishing touches to the card. Well, our paint's dry now, um, so it's time to assemble the card and put the finishing touches to it. I'm going to mat my printed background onto a bit of black card. Cut to size there. And then just attach that to my card front. I had a look through my stamp collection and I chose this set that I like um, from Paper Artsy. So I've stamped this character and um, coloured her in with Copics and Pro Markers. And I've also stamped the sentiment and matted that onto some black card. I'm going to put her there and the sentiment over here. But I want her to be standing on something, so I've got a bit of washi tape and I'm going to give her some ground to be standing on. It just sort of stops it from looking like she's just floating in midair. I do that quite often on a lot of things. So a bit of glue. Pop her in place. Just press her down a minute. I'm going to use some foam tape the sentiment just so that stands up a bit from the actual card front. And I'm just going to put that on there. And there we have our finished card. Again, a fun way to create a background and for those of you that think that you can't do mixed media you can it's really easy um, I shall put a list of what I've used in the description below don't forget to check out my other project that I did using these little media plates and um, I'll put the link to that up in the corner and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you haven't already and then you won't miss any more from me and so thanks for watching. Bye.